right here is what we'll be looking at today. And that is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutating Raft, the form altering foot fighter. This is basically the uh, transforming turtle from Playmates Toys back in the day, back in the 80s and early 90s. Now it's a Target exclusive from the Making of a Ninja series. And you know, here's the figure on the inside. You'd never have to take him out if you didn't want to. I'm gonna take him out, but you didn't have to if you don't want to. You can keep him there as like a collector's item. These are pretty dope. But you know me, I gotta open them. There's only one pack I haven't opened and that's the uh, party disguise. And I am working on getting another set of it. Another set of the party disguises from the Mutant Mayhems. So, uh, yeah, I'll be opening those soon. You'll be seeing those on my channel real soon. And yeah, here's Mutating Raft. They show all the steps on the top here. Sorry for the ring reflection. I used to love this figure as a kid. I really did. I really did. Look at this. Clip and collect from back in the day. A little paragraph on the turtles themselves. Cowabunga! All the other figures in the line, all the other turtles, the brothers. They only had uh, Raph and Leonardo at Target. I got this from Target. Uh, 15 bucks, 14.99, and then after tax, it was like 16.36. Not too bad. Not too great either. I would have paid, you know, I, I mean, I would have rather paid 10 bucks for this. This feels like a $10 figure, but whatever. Not too bad. It's all for the channel, bro. It's all for the channel. Yeah, I keep telling myself that. Yeah, right. It's for my turtle addiction. Can't stop buying turtles. Jesus. Um, Jesus loves us. And I love weed. Okay, so anyway, uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to open this up now, and then we're going to check it out, and I'm going to put him on a stand, and on a, excuse me, on the, the tier, the tier organizer that I have, and we'll look at it, okay? Give me one second. I'm going to do the pause trick. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, I opened it up, but I haven't really messed with it yet. Let's check it out together. So, first things first. You know me, I like to measure my figures. Hold on a sec. Okay. Alrighty, so. Yeah, a little under five and a half inches tall. If I can get them a little taller, I squeeze the legs together. No. Yeah, he's he's like a little over five inches, a little under five and a half. So, all right. Oh wait, forgot the width. The width. Do from elbow to elbow. That looks like the widest spot right there. Almost four and a half inches. It's about no. What am I saying? Four and a half. It's about three and a half inches, more or less. Less. So not too wide, not too tall. Perfect for uh, a moderate collector if they don't want too big items. Let's look at them. Ooh. Pretty articulated. I don't think the original one did this. I don't remember. Comment below if you knew if this one, the original had articulated toes like that. I love that. Probably did, right? Because they're making it like the original one. And as a regular figure, it's pretty dope. He's definitely bulky. He's got a big shell for a regular figure. 
Oh, I'm seeing some loose stuff down here. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. So that's upsetting. This thing might not work the way it's supposed to. And if that's the case, it's okay. Because I'll just keep them in standing form all the time. But I think that screwball is supposed to be in all the time. And it's loose. I just took this out. So that was like that while it was in there. That's definitely not good because that's not a, a nail. That's a screw. And it doesn't have anything to screw it in there. So that's a pain in the butt. All right. The time has come. Let me uh, get the instructions here. Oh, wait. Before we do the transformation, let's look at the accessories. The Pizza Ninja Star. How do we do this again? I always forget how to do this. <laughs> hmm. There's a way to just like. Uh, I guess that's how you do it. You just force it out slowly and surely. That's a pain in the butt. That's what they want you to do, though. Pizza Ninja Star! <laughs> yep. These are pretty cool. These are the size, but they're like transforming size. So that's how they look. Normal. Not that great, to be honest with you. They're not, they're not very appealing. And then you can turn them into pitchforks. Now he's the devil. <laughs> Sorry. Questions. Okay. <laughs> you know, I don't really have anything against Christians. I'm not very religious in the first place. So hope nobody's getting offended when I say that. I don't really care what you believe in. Do, 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 do. As long as you don't believe in shit that, you know, is really, really dark and fucked up, like Satanism <laughs> or anything along those lines, that's really fucked up. Then I care. Moving on from the weirdness. Once again, we're not one review without a little bit of weirdness. Um, This is a little disappointing. Look at that. You see that? The tear mark from the grid is still on there. I think I can get rid of it by just scratching the shit up. No, if I scratch it, it'll probably make it worse. I don't know. Oh, maybe it's coming off. Well, I'm not doing that now, but I got to figure out how to get that off because I want that to look like that. I guess I could just keep it on that side. Right? And you never see it. I want it right here. Yes, there we go. Another canister. And then we got this pet food. This is some pretty BS pet food. All right, hold on, let me open up the instructions. So my dumbass ripped the instructions while trying to open it. Smart of me, huh? Real smart of me. Now, this thing opens up like a transformer. So, I really need to, like, figure out what I'm doing here. Oh, man. I remember these swords. Damn. So, those are where those came from. I never got the Donnie or the Mikey. Um. So, now we're going to... How do we do this here? Step one, pull the side pieces away from the back of the shell. Okay. And then open the back of the shell by pulling from the top of the shell behind the head. <laughs> oh. 
I thought I broke it. Oh, I did break it. I did break it. This fucking piece of crap. Look at that. It just totally snapped on me. Ah, oh, man. Well, I guess I could fix that with some crazy glue. That totally just snapped on me. Wow. Well, I'm, you know, I'm not very rough with these things. I'm pretty very, uh, like, firm but gentle. So the fact that that snapped just goes to show how crappily that was, like, made. And I don't know if that's because this part was loose down here or not. I guess that won't be a big deal for making him a normal turtle. But um, I definitely, like, just snapped off the leg. Not too big of a deal because I could definitely uh, fix it. How's the foot supposed to go in here? Wait, the foot is now the front? Holy crap. That's dope. All right. It's unfortunate that I just broke it. But honestly, like, I wasn't trying to. There's another head in here. And you just pop this out and you switch it around. I've fixed worse, honestly, so I'm not really that worried about it. I can totally fix it. In fact, I will fix it and then you guys will see it. It's just weird that they want this those to be the front now. That's just weird. I'm glad I did it though, so you guys know, in case you want to get these and you're aware, it's just weird how that looks though. And then this is supposed to be right there, so it can look like this. Hmm. You know, maybe I can make this work to my advantage because, you know, I'm seeing this and I'm just hating the way it looks, to be honest with you. I know we got away with it being kids and being like, whoa, it looks like a regular turtle, but this is bothering the crap out of me. Seeing those shoulders like that. I don't even care that I snapped the leg off. It's the front that's bothering me right now. Like, ugh. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's great to have to pay homage to the original. There's nothing wrong with that. So it's going to definitely be a great addition to my collection for my Raphaels. It's just like, Jesus, whoo! Look at that face over here. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is see if I can do this without, because the, the other issue is here is actually trying to open it up. There we go. So you know, so you don't snap it like I did. It's not as simple as pulling it back. You need to lift this up. This top part of the shell needs to be lift up because there's a lip right there. So it needs to come up and then back. Don't just try to pull it. Cause that's what I tried to do and I ended up snapping the leg off because of it. So just be aware of that. Now, the way I snapped off the leg is not too bad. I got lucky where I guess I snapped it cause I can, easily fix that does this come all the way off no okay just check just check and it looks weird having his feet out though like, and then his rubbery feet go back back inside oh they're supposed to there we go yeah, I could fix this, so you know what? Give me a second. I'll be right back. Let me fix this. Okay, I'm back. And uh, basically, I had to do a little mixture of things. Crazy super glue was not enough because of the way I broke it off. So 
I used uh, some of the gel pads that I have here, the sticky gel pads. And then uh, I also used crazy super glue and this, it was a mixture and uh, that mixture worked. Am I gonna be able to pose him a lot, move his leg a lot? Probably not without ruining it, but it's on there now. You can see inside there, that's why I did the sticky and the glue. Shake test. If I shake it too fast, it'll probably pop off, so I'm letting it dry still. I literally just did it, so it's drying as we speak. That's going to be pretty much it for this figure, bro. <laughs> bro. Y'all are bro now. What up, bro? Um, I got a special treat for you guys. All you guys. Bros and sisses. <laughs> and I don't need to pause it to show it to you. I just need to move some things around like the uh, Darth Mauser over here and these steps, the organized tiered organizers. Okay. I think that's enough space, right? Well, we'll find out. Okay, so this is technically mm, just barely articulated, you know, just barely, right? Oh, let's see. This stays? It stayed. Okay, thank God. I forgot. I already forgot, but I put the sticky pad there too, so it's not just glue. Um, and because of that, I will count it as an articulated figure, but like I usually put these with, so I basically, I split up my rafts between, and my turtles between articulated and non-articulated figures, right? So let's put this raft, put them right there, okay? And now let's get, let's get out my biggest Raphael. My biggest Raphael is the uh, recent Mutant Mayhem Raphael that I got. I love this figure. I just wish the elbows were articulated, man. What are you doing, playmates? Come on, man. And then we have the recent Comic-Con SDCCs. Make sure it doesn't tip back. And the regular Okay. And then we have SH Figure Arts. And then we have Whoa, we have me knocking stuff over is what we have. <laughs> we have the NECA Raphael from the Turtles in Disguises, although this is not the jacket from the Turtle in Disgu Turtle in, uh, Turtles in Disguises. This is the jacket from uh, the Super 7 Raphael in Disguise. I just decided to switch it up because why not, you know? time on that okay and then we have whoa I just switched the camera just meant sorry about that All right. then we have the other Raphael from NECA oh man it's dropping the sign why why are you dropping the sign and I think the other side fell out of his and yeah there you go buddy and then we have the super seven ultimates Raphael that I was just talking about so these are all articulated <laughs> with like 
the exception of maybe this guy right here. This is the bare minimum of articulation. Not really, technically, but whatever. I'm going to keep him here. And then we have the best action. Definitely articulated. And then we have the recent Nendoroid that I just got. Oh my God, I love this one so much. Whoa. I got Leonardo in too. You're gonna see him real soon. And then we got one hero cross, two hero cross, the mini hero crosses. I never got the big ones because I don't know. I just didn't. I, I got out of hero cross. They don't really articulate as great as I thought they would, and the metal die cast isn't really great to make articulated figures in. I found out the hard way on that, but it's okay. That's the way it is. I found out the hard way, so you don't. Um, now we're gonna get into the less articulated or not articulated at all figures. Like this guy here, but even more so, like this amazing Shadows, Shadow Ninja's uh, Raphael. Can't get his arm to, there we go. Those are not the size he comes with. I'm just using the uh, extra set I got from an extra raft from uh, right here, the Jada Toys. Metal Figs, Raphael. Actually, wait, I, I want to do this in side or, size order. I think I have a taller one. This is the knockoff uh, 3D print Raphael. He came in damaged, I had to re-glue him. He looks great now. I love this one. For a bootleg, it doesn't really look that bootleg-ish, honestly. Um, and here's the little smaller one that I got at Five Below. This I got from Amazon, this I got from Five Below. I'm not gonna get into all the ones, all the places I got it from, because I'll be here forever. Let's go check out the reviews. I did reviews for every single one of these turtles. Every single one of them, with the exception of this guy. This is from Kid Robot. I didn't do a review on these because I've had these for a while and they're not really figures. These, this review would go really fast. They're, they're, they're barely articulated. They look amazing. They're small. That's about it. There's two versions out, out there of the Kid Robot Turtles. I got the ones that look a little more nitty gritty or like a little more realistic or just a little more mean. Pick the version you want, because there's other versions that they look a little kitty, or not kitty. What's the word? Because this is all kitty, right? I don't know how to say it though. They look just too friendly. They look too happy. There, the other three look exactly like him on on this version. Like the other three turtles, mean. They look mean. These are the mean looking ones. There you go. We'll say they're the mean looking ones. And then here's the deforms. And then uh, getting down to the smallest of the smallest here, we got Raphael from the Mega the Constructs, the well played uh, Constructs with the skateboard. They look like Legos, but they're not Legos. <laughs> and then we have world's smallest action figures, micro figures. collect them all yeah so these are all my Raphael's yep 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 these are some of my favorite to look at right here the the hero cross versions to look at you can't really mess with these a lot without risking breaking them which is why I stopped collecting them it's pretty dope I actually got this is the second pair that I got because I have had these for a while, unopened, signed by Kevin Eastman himself. But uh, I wanted them so badly opened and I finally got them opened. And I was just like, damn, I should have just kept the ones that I had closed because I mean, I still have them. It's just 
what I mean is like I shouldn't have just bought more, you know, because they would the ones I had closed were good enough. But it's all right. I have them open now and they look amazing in the right pose. I like the black and white one too, the the gray one, if you will. Uh, what's my favorite raff out of all these? Hmm, that's hard right now. But if I had to pick one, it's probably gonna be between my recent, most recent, and my not so most recent. So SH Figure Arts Raphael and Nendoroid Raphael. So far, like in co competition on who's my favorite Raphael figure right now in my collection, in my personal collection. I just love the way they look. I love their faces. I love their details. I love the paint jobs. I love their articulation. I love it all. All right, guys, this is starting to be one of those long ones again, so I'm gonna wrap it up. But you'll see more Raphael real soon. Trust me on that. Oh, here, another little special treat. I got the cards here. I got this that came with the uh, recent undercover Raphael Super 7 Ultimates. If you haven't seen the review, go check it out. It's really cool. And I go into this further. And we have uh, some of my old school cards that I kept from when I was a kid. Here's looking at you, kid. Yeah, Raph in the show was a much funnier Raph than the Raph I got used to, which is like the mean, tough Raph. And then right here, another one. This is actually a sticker too, but I never peeled it. Now if you peel it, it probably won't even, I don't know. Maybe it will, but it's from the 80s, bro. Let me see, hold on. 1989. Yep. Some of the cards I never got rid of. I got plenty of more. Not too many. A handful, if you will. I got more Jurassic Park cards than I do uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cards. But anyway, that's going to be it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. I think I need to pause this again. I don't know. Can I do this? Let's see if I can do this without wrecking anything. Do you believe in me? A lot of you are like, nope. You're going to tumble something. You do it every time, bro. I did it. Yay. Come on, ref. All right, so tomorrow we're going to be looking at something a little out of my ordinary collecting. But I got it because I think it'd be a great potential custom figure. I just got to figure out what I'm going to make them. I got myself the Fortnite Victory, Victory, uh, Victory, Victory, Victory Royal Series Metal Mouth. This is from Hasbro. I think it's from Hasbro, right? Yeah, it's from Hasbro. <laughs> and uh, I got it. Well, I'll tell you where I got it tomorrow. How about that? Come back tomorrow and I'll tell you more about it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And peace, peace.